Okay, so welcome back to another video. We will be talking about some other kinds of math today, and this kind of math is called working on is work is called working on fractions. So we want to know what is a fraction anyway. So a fraction is similar to a division symbol, but it has one line with two dots, one above and one below. But the difference between it is because a fraction symbol contains contains um the symbol means a line and with two different numbers above and below, and that is a fraction symbol, you know. So. So let's show an example. So a fraction symbol has the top thing called the numerator. The bottom part is called the denominator. So the numerator shows how many parts are selected. So there are seven parts selected. Can you see that seven of the bits are red? That is what is the numerator. And can you see that the denominator, so the denominator is the number below the fraction. This shows how many parts are there in total. So can you see that the bottom number says 8? This is the amount of parts in this circle. Let's count to see that there are 8 parts in total. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you see that there are eight equal parts? The number of parts are eight and the bottom number says eight. Ooh, do you know why I said equal parts? This is because if there is a shape with parts that are not equal, then it cannot be a fraction. There has to be equal parts. So, imagine I've got two friends, we were three friends, and I shared some pieces of paper to everyone. So, this paper is for me, and those other two papers are for my other two friends. So, I have shared those two pieces of paper with my other friends. I have the big one, and the other two ones have the small ones. Oh, look! And them complain. Look what they say. Why do I have a small piece, piece of you paper? Have got you have, have to correct your mistake, you, you boy. <laughs> it's so. And that is why you cannot make fractions with parts that are not equal. Never ever. I think now you have learned your lesson. So, could you see that I had got that big piece of paper, whilst my other two friends had got a small piece of paper? That wasn't equal. We didn't have the same amount of those strings. Even when two are the same, but one isn't, then it is still not equal. They have to be all equal parts, uh, so that each friend can be happy. I had that big piece of paper, but my other two friends cried because they didn't have the same amount as me. So, a bar model is a useful way how to calculate the fraction's value and holes. Like, for example, you need to work out some math method, so you need to do the maths so that you can notice how much piece is worth in each bar model. But a shading bar model is an easier way to shade without placing equal parts of a prime number in a circle. A prime number is a number that can't divide by anything other than one and itself. What I mean by itself, it means like 7 divided by 7, 9 divided by 9, yeah, like that. Because if you place seven random sized parts inside like if you cut a cake into seven parts that are not equal each child will get very angry and upset so seven is a little bit hard to calculate how many equal parts will be there in one circle only the 
Only the circle with three parts are okay, even when three is a prime number, because it's not that amount of parts needed. Let me show you how it looks like. So now we want to know what is a whole in fractions. So a whole is a whole number or a whole fraction or a whole diagram of a fraction. And the whole diagram of a fraction looks like this. Could you see that the blue is shaded all around that circle? Also, there is something called a quarter, which is a part in four parts, which makes a whole. You do not say fourth, you say quarters, because that's the appropriate ton word to use. So, we have got some definitions codes to break. One whole, one half, one third, one quarter, and one fifth. We know what does one whole mean. We just talked about it right now. It means it's a fraction where all of the parts are selected. So, what is one half? So, one half is two times smaller than a whole. One third is one part selected and in total is three parts selected. We just talked about what is one quarter. One part selected in a range of four parts in a whole. It is the same as one third. And one fifth does the same action function as quarters and thirds. One fifth is when the whole has five parts but one is only selected. If there are two fifths then it's two selected. Just just one more thing that I also want to talk about is that after one fifth becomes one sixth, then seventh, then eighth, then ninth, then tenth. But we've got another note to do, a special note. Did you ever heard of decimals? So, there are numbers, so decimals are numbers, but they also contain a dot. Examples like 0 0.12 or 0 0.12 and 0 0.6. Also, you saw it in the last screen before. Could you see all those dots? We say it as point, like 0 0.9, but after that dot, it comes something like a tenth. So special. So each unit of tenth contains the value weighing 0 0.1. If you multiply one unit of tenth, one unit of tenth means 0 0.1, 0 0.1 times 10 is 1. You just need to move that decimal point one step further when you are multiplying by 10. And what's so special about that product? That means the multiplication answer 1. However, it's one whole shown as a fraction like this. Shown as one tenth as a decimal like this. And one tenth as a fraction like this. There's also some other things special called hundreds. Which are also in decimals and fractions. But we won't talk about that. It's very very not less time left so we have completed we have finished our complete lesson of what are fractions today next part we are going to learn about adding fractions next part subtracting fractions and then next part we are going to be calculating quantities and fractional parts so let's go and shout hooray and goodbye hooray goodbye and we are going to say that subscribe to my channel, like my video, and don't forget to comment. One more thing. You can comment what do you want me to upload in the future next, so that you don't get upset.
So you don't need to just comment like nice and good, like very good editing. You can also comment what video you want me to upload next in the future too. But it doesn't, but it doesn't matter. It's still okay. I don't mind. You can comment anything you want. Now let's go and say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye.